Hi guys, welcome back to War Thunder, and today we'll be taking out the P40E1 Kitty Hawk slash Warhawk, depending on where you come from. Uh, it's a fantastic plane, about rating 2.7, very deserving in game. I'm glad that this is one of the planes that they got right in game, because there's a lot of planes in War Thunder that were great in real life, but just struggle in this game. But thank goodness they gave. Uh, the, War the Warhawk performs as well as it should do. It's a great plane. Now, at battle rating 2.7, it's not exactly high tier, so you are against a lot of rinky dink. Oh dear. We are against a lot of rinky dink. Uh, is he going to survive that? Oh wow. You are against a lot of rinky dink airplanes, uh, even some biplanes still. Oh dear. Oh dear. Uh, sorry. Yeah, so you're against a lot of lower tier planes if you get down tiered, but... Okay. Okay, we didn't take any damage from that. Painful. So, in a down tier, you're against a lot of... Bad planes, if you will. Some planes that just can't compete with the P-40. Uh, which is good, because the P-40 is a great all-rounder and it likes to feast on planes that are inferior to it. Yeah, he's not going to hit me, but it is annoying. Things like uh, biplanes will be able, able to outturn you, but the P-40 isn't a bad turner. It's a great all-rounder. It's decently fast with a top speed of... 3, 4, 8 miles an hour, a rate of climb of 10.6 meters a second. Uh, so yeah, it's great in the speed department, but uh, also at 2.7 you have some other scary planes. You start uh, meeting the Spitfire Mark 1, which is another great all-rounder. The first Corsair is at 2.7 as well. And uh, the BF109Es start appearing. Uh, I think this is more than up to the task of dealing with them. So I'm with the very standard, very basic American 650 cows, which you will be very familiar with if you played any of America. Although this might be one of the first planes in the American tech tree to get six of them. So we're here on the curse map, climbing to probably about 3,000 meters. I could go higher, but not. I can't imagine many on their team will. So we're not going to go too high. This is just the standard, realistic battle procedure. Another good thing about the P40 is that it's there's so many different camouflages to unlock. There's like eight or nine of them, which is great. I wish more planes like that had eight or nine camos. The only one that I can think of that has that many would be the British Mustang Mark 1A. And I guess some of the BF 109s, but you know, it's got a great selection, so there's one for every occasion. Looks like all the enemies are over there, so we're going to move in. An LA 5 is pretty dangerous. I 16, not too worried about. A 190, very scary, that means I've been upteared. Yak 1, not too much of a threat. We are two men down, unfortunately. Or three men down already. Oh, so are they, though. Right. Who should I go for? I'd like to get that LA-5, but he's a bit higher than me right now. So I should probably climb even more, hopefully try to get to 4,000 meters. What's the ideal altitude? 3,800, okay. So this might end up working in my favor. Okay. I'm hoping that LA-5 will go for our Aero Cobra, but he's got a lot of backup, which is a problem. And now he's going for me. Great. Critical hit, very nice. I'll try and help out our Aero Cobra first, though. Get rid of this I-16. That 
Ski Polycarpov. Right, closing in. And there you go. Alright, now we've got to get rid of this LA5. Just lost our Aero Cobra. That's not good. Oh no, that was a different one. Okay. To try and rejoin the fight. That LA5, I must have hit his engine or something. Gotta watch out for that 190 though. Oh, that's a 109. Okay. This is not ideal. Hang on, Aero Cobra. I'll be there in a second. Oh. Alright, so we got onto the tails of both of them. Very nice, very nice. just for the LA5. I'll finish what I started. Or not. Oh. Well, there you go. Alright, whereabouts is that Yak 2 on the map? Oh, he's gone. Uh, he might be going to land, so I probably shouldn't go for him. Uh, all right, we'll help the boys over there with the 190 and the Yak 1 and the other 190. At this battle rating, the 190 is probably the most intimidating plane you can fight because it's just so much faster than you are, and it's got pretty good armament as well. We don't have that much ammo left. Got an A20 Havoc coming with us. Yak one going very low. That 190 might be returning to base. Now I could either intercept him, or I could help everyone out with that other 190 down there. I should probably go for that one. They're all going pretty slowly, actually. That Yak one is going extremely low for some reason. Unfortunately for that 190, he is terrible in dogfights, although that A20 isn't exactly making it difficult for him. Got to be really careful about where I fire because I don't have much ammo left. Alright, maybe here? No. Roll round, get onto his tail. Yeah, we should be done for. Very nice. And uh, now another one. Yeah, I'm not fast enough for that. Yeah, that's why you don't head on 190s. You just turn into that. Where's our airbase? Oh, it's right there. Try not to get shot by that guy's gunner. I'd love to help him with that. 190, but I don't think I can. I will kill this one, 110, but I feel like I might need the ammo for something. Oh, I'll kill this 110. Or not. And the base AA should get him. And let's just hope I can repair and rearm faster than that 190 can come and get us. Or is he coming back now? Oh, he's coming back. No? Is he not? Oh, I think he is. No, he's... Oh, I'll have to go to the base that's further away. 
No, he is going away now. Okay, let's land this thing. Let's get the wheels down. Landing flaps. This isn't a very conventional landing. Ooh. Oh, the A20 is still alive. Okay, and now we wait to repair and rearm. Uh, how how's the team doing? They only have one, two, three, four planes left, and we only have three. Okay, let's hope that Corsair doesn't waste his life though. Should I bring bombs? Because we're low on victory points and I kind of want to make sure we win. Alright, so we're back and ready to roll. I'll bring bombs just in case so I can find the opportunity to bomb a base or something. Alright, let's go. Okay, we've definitely made our plane heavier and 9.8 miles an hour slower. Alright, here we go. Stuka there, that Corsair is hopefully going to kill him. Yak 2 over there, I'd like to be able to finish that off. It's not too much of a threat. Uh, although he is feasting on our AI planes. Okay, the Corsair didn't get the Stuka. We've got to get as much height as I can because with these bombs I'm going to be a pretty slow and easy target. Uh, I'll leave that 110B. Give the A20 something to do. Okay, the Corsair got the Stuka. There's a Yak 1 over there. That's the Yak 2. The one that you might just be able to see. Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the Yak 2. As long as I'm above them, I'm pretty confident I could win. Yak 2's going for the Corsair. Let's hope he doesn't head on him. It's got some 220 mils. Should I... Mm, don't think I should with the bombs on. I just want to try to get rid of these bombs as quickly as possible. Okay, that's in... He's quite in a... Actually in quite a prime position for me to get them. And I think that's what the Corsair is hoping for. Come on, just got to make it to the base. Okay. Alright, the Corsair got the Yak. Very good. Uh, I'll congratulate him on that. Alright, I should be able to get the Yak 2 now. Might do a bit of dive bombing on this base. There, should do. That's the 100 pound bombs done. Let's hope that hit. Very nice. And then the 500 pound. Okay, good. And of course they got the Yak 2 as well, so now it's just the 190 left. Well, very good, very good. 
Where are those one tens? We just tr gotta try and get uh, some of these guys. And there's the 190, okay. We can do this. Unfortunately, he has the altitude advantage. As long as he doesn't boom and zoom, we should be fine. If he tries to dogfight us, then we can easily win. Okay, whatever you do, just don't head on it. No, Corsair, no. No. Right. Yeah, he's not beam and zooming, so this shouldn't be too difficult. Now he's forced into a dogfight where we can feast on him. You're mine. Yes! Very nice. And that makes me an ace. Very good game. Do a little victory roll. Lovely. Well played, Corsair. Couldn't have done it without you. And that is the P40 Warhawk. Slash Kitty Hawk. Very good plane. One that I very much respect in this game. It's a lot of fun to play. And that's an ace game. Not bad. Not bad at all. Uh, oh, and they even got a couple more of those camos I was talking about. Uh, which ones were they? Uh, this one. Very nice. In case you get on a desert map. And this one. Also in case you get on a desert map. Very nice. And we're pretty... Okay, we're about halfway to that one, which is awesome. Uh, very close to this one which is probably my favourite of the desert ones that one's quite far away that one's fairly close what's the next nearest one? Oh, this one a uh, nice Chinese one, very cool ok so that's uh, the P40 Kitty Hawk thank you for watching and I'll catch you next time for some more War Thunder gameplay